Welcome to Gus Tech. Today I learned baby monitors are not actually smaller versions of computer monitors. Hey there Gus Tech fans. Today we're going to be looking at the LG 27UD88 27 inch 4K USB-C wonderfully cool that was a heavy box that was louder than i thought it was going to be uh great monitor and we are going to show you guys whether or not this is something that you want to consider especially for professional use whether it's in uh, video editing photo editing or in playing video games or looking at videos online <clears throat> gus tech let's get into it so let's talk about lg the company that actually is named life's good which is really stupid for a company name. They make, in my opinion, and the opinion of everybody that actually matters, the best OLED TVs on the market, or the only OLED TVs on the market. They are fan-freaking-tastic. They do a great job with displays. And for monitors, they might be the leader in that realm too. Um, this is a 27-inch monitor from LG. Again, it's the 27UD88. It's a 4K display. It comes color calibrated from the factory. LG does all the work up front to make sure that when you get it out of the box, it has the greatest color representation you could imagine um, in the different presets that it has loaded. The monitor is a 60 Hertz monitor and it works with AMD FreeSync technology, which uh, at 60 Hertz, it's probably not gonna be the most meaningful thing in the world. Although when you're pushing 4K content, it's gonna be hard to hit that 50 or that 60 hertz refresh rate constantly. So it might actually be a little bit beneficial when you start dipping down to the 20s and 30 range. Um, <clears throat> I will say that this monitor is not only fantastic for its display quality, uh, the panel's fantastic. LG has done a great job with it, obviously, as they do with all their monitors. But what really makes this a stand apart piece of tech that I think is worth a, a look, and, and if you're, especially if you're in a, in a professional setting, is that this monitor comes with a USB Type-C connection. So you can take your MacBook Pro, take that stupid one USB-C port that they have, plug it in, go right to your monitor. The monitor will power your MacBook. It will allow you to use the display, obviously, on your MacBook and on the 4K display of the, of the 27UD88. The other benefit is that it has two USB 3.0 pass pass-throughs. So you actually gain USB ports by using this monitor. It charges your laptop and you get the benefit of having a fantastic display, which makes it all in all one of the best pairings with something like a MacBook Pro for professional use, which would include video editing, photo editing, and you know anything else that your hipster friends drinking coffee down at Beans and Brews want to talk about. One of the amazing things that LG continues to improve upon with their already fantastic displays is, like I mentioned before, the color calibration is darn near perfect when these come out of the factory. But beyond that, you have a backlight bleed issue with almost every other manufacturer of high-end IPS panels. LG has almost completely eliminated that issue. It's, it's actually very surprising how much better this monitor is than competitors from ViewSonic, from Dell, um, from other major companies that, that don't seem to quite understand how to get rid of that backlight bleed. Somehow LG's done a great job and this monitor is a great representation of it. It has such good color fidelity and such good picture fidelity that when you compare it to a budget 4K display or even a similarly priced 4K display, a lot of the times, you know, when you're looking at these, these monitors and these, these higher end components, it's just, it's a spec war, right? You go, well, which one has, which, which one looks better on paper? Well, they all have 60 Hertz refresh rate. They all have, you know, well, not all of them, but a lot of them have the AMD FreeSync capabilities. They all have 4K uh, displays. Some of them, though, are not going to look nearly as good as other ones because the IPS panel that they use and the way that they have the backlight uh, to actually power those panels 
can be drastically different from one panel to another. And LG's, frankly, in our opinion, is probably one of the better in the market, and it's because they seem to have done a, a great job nailing down those specific aspects. So your pixel count's gonna be the same as any other 4K monitor. The specs are all gonna look really similar between different monitors, but it's all about how it looks. And this looks fantastic. And it's a great, use of your money if you are using this for photo editing, for video editing, any sort of professional work, even architectural design. This monitor is so fantastic for those purposes that I wholeheartedly recommend it. Now, <clears throat> obviously it's not the best monitor for playing video games in your parents' basement. Um, it's not the worst for that either because LG has done such a good job at the color representation that if you want to, or if you're rig is capable of pushing 4k content uh, it's going to look so fantastic on this monitor obviously with the benefit of that free sync as well you're going to have very smooth frames even though the frames might be a bit lower than what's conventionally uh, requested or required through most video games ergonomically lg has done a fantastic job making this monitor look as professional as it feels when you're using it the stand itself has a great brushed aluminum finish on the front. It has a nice white glossy plastic on the back. So it's the perfect aesthetic to match uh, an, a MacBook Pro, AirPods, you know, all things Apple, which have this very nice brushed aluminum and this white, this clean feeling to them. LG's really embraced that design aesthetic because it's really meant to be paired with those types of devices. It does swivel, it does tilt, uh, it moves in all the ways that you'd expect a professional monitor to move without having to readjust the base every time you touch it, um, which is fantastic. Also, it does have VESA mounts on the back, so it has the little screws you can plug into there. Um, you can put this on some arms if you want to have multiple on, uh, monitors or you want to move it around. But honestly, if you're going to be putting this on a desk, it has so much range of motion in the stand itself. I would recommend you first try it on the stand before you go out and buy you know some additional arms to hold it because from our experience it doesn't need additional arms to hold it because the stand is so good which a lot of stands out there feel so flimsy or they shake when you touch the desk but even when i move this it doesn't shake like crazy obviously it'll move a little bit but it's uh it's overall pretty solidly constructed so who is this monitor for well Previously, we did a video on the LG UD68. And again, this is the updated 88 version. Um, so what's the difference? Well, from everything that we can tell, the panel hasn't really changed. Everything's essentially the same as far as look and feel. The backlight bleed, like we mentioned in that other video, is fantastic on both these monitors. Now, if you have a desktop and you are using this monitor with a desktop, you're probably better off going with the UD68 as opposed to the 88. Why is that? Well, <clears throat> one of the only real advantages of this monitor over the 68, that's at least that we could notice, is that it has a USB Type-C plug that will, again, charge your laptop and enables you to have a pass-through for two USB 3.0 ports, which is really only beneficial if you have a laptop and you're starving for ports. Most desktops, and I mean pretty much every desktop that you buy that's not a piece of garbage, uh, you know, workstation type of a desktop, is going to have multiple USB ports, multiple USB 3 or 3.1 or Lightning or whatever standard that's on there, and you're not gonna wanna have it all going through pass-through on your monitor because there's not really a reason to. Additionally, the charging capabilities that this has to charge whatever device is connected to it is totally and utterly pointless if you're connecting it to your desktop that's powered through a power supply. So if you have a desktop computer, we recommend the UD68. Now, if you have a device like a MacBook Pro, you have a Surface Book, you have something that is powered through USB Type-C, and you're starving at least a little bit for additional ports, this monitor makes more sense than almost any other monitor on the market because you can always have your laptop docked 
and have that additional display capability and function with the additional ports that are offered by the UD88. So, if you're in the market for a new monitor for professional use, whether it be video editing, architectural design, photo editing, uh, or you know graphic design, these monitors, both of them, the UD68 and the 88, are gonna be great for you, but if you're like most people in that field, you are going to prefer the 88 because you have the portability of your MacBook Pro or other device, and as soon as you plug it in, that thing is ready to go as essentially a docked item that would run just like your desktop. So let's wrap this up and put a bow on it. The LG 27 UD88, while having a really stupid name, actually it's not that stupid of a name, it's just not that great either. Please like get better naming conventions, monitor companies. They're so frustrating. Anyway, the monitor itself is fantastic. With the additional features with the USB Type-C and the pass-through ports, this makes it one of the best monitors you can use to pair with your MacBook Pro, Surface Pro, or other device. We can wholeheartedly recommend it for professional use. For gaming as well, if you're wanting to spend a little bit more and get a fantastic picture fidelity, this is a great monitor. But if you're using it with a desktop, again, I'm gonna recommend the UD68. All in all, great purchase for your money. The link to this monitor and the UD68 is in the description below, or R, since there's two links, is R. I don't know English. Please like and subscribe, share this video with your friends, your family, your sisters, uh, and your brothers, I guess. You know, maybe your uncle, Uncle Timmy. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Let us know if you have any feedback for us in the comments below, or if you'd like to see something else from us. As always, we are Guest Tech, and we will see you next time.